The reason I haven't introduced you to my family is because I haven't been completely honest about what I've been doing for work. I'm a correctional officer. What? I'm a, I'm a CO, I'm a correctional officer. When you can't get in contact with me after 10 o'clock, be at work, can't have my phone. Whew. I gotta sit back for this one. I've been doing this for five years now. Like, this is heavy. You know how I feel about this. Like, my cousin being mistreated, police brutality, and then, like, now to know you've been lying, like, that even goes crazy about your work. I didn't tell you because of the conversation we had, and I just didn't want you to, like, like, not give me a chance and just look at me for what I do for work. Right, but you know how I feel about this, like, Breonna Taylor, my cousin. So, Sincere, you had been doing this for a few years before you yeah. even met Najee. Yeah. So, when you met her and you two had a conversation, like, what went through your head? You were just like, I'm gonna, um, I'm just not gonna tell her what I do? At that point, I didn't think it was the right time to tell her after having that conversation. Najee, do you feel comfortable telling what happened with your cousin so we can have a understanding of, of why you're bumping up against Sincere's profession? Um, my cousin was incarcerated. He did a petty crime, and um, he was put in a holding cell, and the correctional officer had beat him. Um, we felt like it was because of the color of his skin, and now everything else that's been going on the things that we've seen on TV, um, you know, the police brutality. It's just like an uneasy feeling, no matter what it is, who it is. Yeah, I mean, we all saw, you know, the video of George Floyd. We saw and heard about what happened to Breonna Taylor, and it's a good thing to acknowledge how systems fail certain groups. I understand what your family went through and what we as black people go through but just because I wear gray or whatever color the uniform is, don't mean I'm the same as the other people in the uniform. I just want you to really look at me like the person you know I am and not what I do. I would say a good thing about it is I do sometimes get to reach people and I, I could change somebody's life in that job. Was you ever gonna tell me though? I was eventually. What's eventually? Eventually. I feel like I've given you so many opportunities to always like just keep it real with me, even if it was bad stuff. Like, I just feel like this is a slap in the face right now. Sincere, is this why she hasn't been allowed to meet your family? Yeah, absolutely. Because they know yeah. what you do? Yeah, and they take pride in it. So it's something that they like to talk about and bring up. Um, and I didn't want the conversation spark. Does your family know about Najee? Yeah, you know, I have a girlfriend named Najee. Okay. Najee, you think that you can get past him being a correctional officer? I don't know if I can get past that just yet, but I think for me, it's the lying. Especially with that piece of information, I felt like that was something you could have definitely had a conversation with me about. I feel like right now, like, I can't trust him. I just want to say I apologize to you. I'm hoping that once you process everything, you'll, you'll be able to have a conversation with me and we can get back to where we were. What does that mean for the potential move? I definitely think I should like just pause on the moving, not saying like I don't consider it, but just put in a pause because this is really a lot to take in and a lot to process right now, so. Well, I think that we have done our jobs here and we wish you both nothing but the best. Thank you. Thank you. Sarah, thank you so much for being willing to sit down and no problem. And be I'm honest. just 
glad it's over now. Now, Najee, we know that you traveled here. Yes. Um, would you like to stay? What do you want to do? I definitely think I need to stay so we can have a conversation and we just got to take it from there. All right, well, I think that wraps it up for us. Yeah. Um, thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It was so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. All right. I mean, I guess that's a pretty decent ending. I don't know if it's a happy ending just yet because I feel like they definitely have some tough conversations ahead. He still lied. Their yep. relationship started off on a lie and her trust is broken. What it takes to gain that trust back, time will tell. And you know, they have a lot of work to do to figure out what the future looks like together. I'm rooting for them. Yeah. Hopefully they can work it out. Yeah. All right. We've never had two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on!